The French saw that Henry's force was depleted of food and resources and thus wanted to starve his army out. Henry knew that he had to act quickly if he was to have any chance of defeating the French. So in the last throw of the dice, Henry brought the fight to the French. He ordered his army to uproot and advance forward. The battle commenced at 11 a.m. as the English brought the longbows within killing range and the first line of French mounted knights advanced forward. The field that the French had to cross to meet their enemy was heavily muddied after a week of heavy rainfall, which slowed their advance during which time they endured casualties from English arrows. The English longbowmen use a special arrow tip called a bodkin tip which allowed for better armor penetration. When the first French line reached the English front, the cavalry were unable to overwhelm the archers, who had driven sharpened stakes into the ground at an angle in front of themselves. This was an innovative technique that the English had not used in the battles of Crecy and Poitiers.